UR up relay and DR down relay. These outputs connect to high power relays at the bottom of the rack for the lift motor. Without the HSR relay, the lift will travel slowly instead. HSR, high speed relay. This controls the lift's two motor speeds. When on, the lift travels at high speed. When off, it travels slow. The UR or DR output must be on at the same time 1L to 10L. These are the call buttons on the landings from ground to the ninth floor. Landing calls will bring a lift up to the highest call and then it will start serving them in a downward direction. A1D to A10D. Landing call accept lamps. These are for the lamps inside each landing call button. When a call button is pushed, the lamp is held on with this output until the lift arrives where it turns it off. The controller refers to 1 as the first landing, which is the ground floor, so 10 is actually the ninth floor. PS1 to PS10 Position indicator lamp outputs that connect to each bulb to show you the lift's position. In this lift installation, there is only one display which is inside the lift car above the door. One C to ten C. These are the car call floor buttons inside the lift from ground to the ninth floor. Pressing one of these will register a floor stop at the requested floor. Don't forget that these are inputs that connect to the switches inside these buttons. The light inside the button connects to outputs so the controller can switch them on and off. CA1 to CA10. Car call accept lamps. These are for the lamps inside the car call floor buttons and operate in the same way as the landing call lamp outputs.
This controller is not dedicated for lifts. It can be programmed for any purpose. Traffic lights, amusement rides, lighting features, fountains. If you need to control something using programming commands, then a PLC will do the job. Just search for Alan Bradley PLC in Google. Switch to images and you'll probably find this very controller. In the 1980s, PLCs were starting to be used instead of relay logic. Instead of connecting many switches together to create a function, this can now be done by wiring up inputs and outputs and programming the function instead. But nowadays PLCs do not control lifts anymore. They have been superseded by dedicated lift controllers designed exactly for this.